Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you plastic surgery. Okay. So plastic surgery it is the process of reconstruction or repairing of uh, any parts of the body of human uh, for the treatment of injury or uh, any uh, cosmetic reasons. Okay. Or for any cosmetic reasons. Uh, uh, the reconstruction or repairing any parts of the body is the uh, plastic surgery okay so the goals of plastic surgery is uh, correction so correction of any uh, dysfunction uh, def uh, deformation so if the uh, if a, if a uh, if a phase of any uh, the person is uh, uh, is deformed okay so then uh, the correcting the phase is the correction okay correction of any deformation and restoration so restoration of a, imp, any impairment or a impaired function so for example if uh, if some uh, some uh, some person cannot speak uh, uh, by using uh, uh, speak normally so it requires a minor surgery in, in the mouth and it can be cured so that is uh, restoration of the impaired function so some dysfunction can be corrected so that is restoration and next is improvement so uh, improvement means uh, you might have seen or heard uh, heard some uh, uh, like uh, some uh, actress or actors are uh, doing a uh, nose job or lip job anything uh, in order to have a good appearance so that is improvement okay so these are the goals for plastic surgery so procedures actually either these two will happen either they will fill the depression so as for example if the patient is uh, uh, having a uh, patient uh, having some holes or some uh, uh, deformities uh, in their face because of some injury or accidents so that can be filled by uh, using tissue so that is filling the depression okay otherwise sometimes it uh, something may be removed so for example uh, in, as i said some actors or actress they will be having uh, they have to uh, uh, do some face change so uh, the contour change or anything so that can be done by simply removing the uh, certain portion of tissue okay so uh, either these two will happen so this is the procedure for uh, plastic surgery okay so it will plastic surgery it is having a benefit that it will improve the appearance so the appearance can be improved by using this and next is the uh, the psychological benefit so psychologically the patient will be happy uh, by seeing their uh, appearance or anything okay Next is some congenital deform deformities or disorders can be cured or treated by using laser surgery. Okay. So some of the uh, applications or uh, major surgeries performed are removal of port wine stains and melanomas. Okay. So these are discoloration in face because of any pigmentation or anything. Okay, so uh, all those can be easily treated by using uh, plastic surgery, especially these kinds of uh, treatment, it involves laser. So laser is used for treating this. Okay, and the very popular one is cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery, it includes uh, tattoo removal. So sometimes they will be having tattoos in, uh, uh, in uh, any of the uh, part of the body like hands or anything. So there if they want to remove, it is possible, only possible by using laser. So tattoo removal. Next, hair removal is also might have heard many uh, saloons, many, many uh, beauty uh, uh, saloons. There, uh, the hair removal is permanent hand mole is uh, made by using uh, lasers and next is tooth sterilization it is uh, so there also laser is used you might have heard that we'll be having will be having some tooth uh, decay so uh, uh, so the tooth decay can be uh, easily the decay the decay means uh, the like uh, the uh, 
bacteria uh, or anything micro micro molecules will be accumulated in the in your teeth and uh, teeth will be destroyed so that is uh, that that is sterilized by using the laser okay so how it is sterilized so the laser is applied over the decayed tooth so once it is applied uh, we know uh, the decayed particles contain some water molecules okay when compared to the no, uh, good teeth so the water molecules uh, once uh, the laser strikes on the water molecule it will be it will get heated and it will be evaporated and because of that sterilization is happened okay today i'm going to teach you gynecology so the use of laser in the field of gynecology okay so gynecology refers to the study that deals with the health of the female reproductive systems okay such as uh, uterus vagina and ovaries okay uh, so, uh, so the gynecologists treat the following conditions first is they treat the cancers uh, cancers that occur inside ovary or anything and incontinence incontinence of lack of control over the uh, pa passing urine or motion anything and next is uh, amenorrhea that means absence of menstrual periods uh, dysmenorrhea it is uh, it is like uh, pain in menstrual periods and infertility so infertility also treated by gynecologists and uh, menorrhagia okay so all uh, so that this, this is uh, uh, the heavy menstrual bleeding so all these conditions will be treated by gynecologist okay and uh, so these are the operations uh, major operations that are performed by gynecologists so first is hysterectomy hysterectomy means uh, removal of uterus okay and next is uh, ophoro uh, ophorectomy okay so that is a uh, removal of ovaries and cesarean uh, that we all everyone knows it is uh, uh, birth of a child uh, by uh, using surgery and next so tubal ligation that means uh, cutting the uh, path between the ovaries and the uterus okay all right now next is uh, lasers so uh, we'll see what are the lasers that are used used by the gynecologist okay so there are three lasers one is a carbon dioxide laser next is ndr laser and last is organ and the ktp lasers okay so first is co2 lasers co2 lasers are carbon dioxide lasers so it is uh, useful in um Corphoscopic pr procedure. So that means uh, it is a procedure that I, I identifies the uh, presence of any cancerous tissue over the path of uh, uh, the reproductive system. Okay, so that is the uh, colcoscopic procedure and it is the CO2 lasers are used for uh, hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy means already said hystero means uterus. Okay, so hysteroscopy means uh, uh, viewing the inner part of the uterus. Okay, in order to find any dysfunction, uh, availability of dysfunctions. So for that uh, CO2 lasers are used and the CO2 lasers are used in laparoscopy also you know uh, laparoscopy means uh, doing any uh, surgery uh, uh, with the help of uh, instrument directly towards the abdomen by uh, inserting a small hole and operating outside the abdomen okay so by operate the doctor will be operating <coughs> the instrument outside the abdomen so uh, the operation will be happening in inside the abdomen abdomen means the stomach area okay so for that also uh, co2 lasers are used but for laparoscopy surgery procedure uh, they will uh, the lasers should be, uh, the, the co2 laser should be uh, coupled okay so laser coupler should be included in this co2 laser okay otherwise we should use a special uh, laser uh, laparoscopy 
okay or either we should use the laser coupler or special uh, laser uh, laparoscopy should be used okay so recently uh, wave guides are also used for uh, uh, doing uh, acting as a coupler instead of coupler wave guides can also be used okay so that is the co2 laser okay then second type is ndr laser also ndr it is uh, it is very much useful in the field of plastic surgery also in cosmetics like uh, that we have seen in the previous class uh, for cosmetics and all uh, um, the, for uh, tattoo removal for um, eyelid surgery and for tooth sterilization and all ndr lasers are used but in gynecology also ndr lasers are very much used and ndr stands for neodymium uh, dot yttrium aluminium garnet okay so neodymium nd is the active element for the laser action okay so this is nd is the active element and yag is the uh, it provides a crystalline support or strength to the material okay so n yag is for uh, yag is only for the strength and the nd is the active element okay and ndr lasers act as a deep coagulators actually coagulators means uh, it, it is uh, the purpose of coagulators is to uh, clot the blood okay in order to have any removal of uh, uh, tumors or anything so it acts as a deep coagulators okay and uh, ndr lasers uh, it uses another one laser it is helium neon laser in order to have a aiming we already knew it helium neon laser is a low power laser so helium neon laser is used for aiming aiming means uh, in order to have a surgery so that surgical part should be targeted by using any pointer so for that we use a, a helium neon laser okay and the last is organ and ktp laser organ and ktp so ktp stands for potassium so the uh, chemical uh, the symbol for potassium is k right so potassium uh, titanal phosphate potassium titanal phosphate so this is the ktp so organ and ktp lasers are very similar to ndr laser so the operations are very similar to ndr laser the only difference is uh, we know India gases decoagulators, uh, organ and KTP lasers are used as color selective coagulators. Okay, it is it, it is color color based. Okay, color selective coagulators. Uh, it is used as color selective coagulators, and India lasers are used as deep coagulators. Okay, and uh, gynecology in gynecology uh, it is also used for as I said incontinence that means the uh, the lack of control can be uh, uh, regained right? it, it is treated okay so how it is you what my, means uh, in the uh, reproductive area we have a tissue uh, called collagen okay so if the collagen uh, becomes loose then only the incontinence or the lack of control will be happening so what will happen when the laser is allowed to focus on the collagen the collagen will be uh, new collagen cells will be uh, recreated and because of that the elasticity will be regained okay so this is how the laser works on the new coll uh, uh, collagen and uh, uh, regain the control and the elasticity so this process it takes only uh, for 10 minutes around only it takes around 10 minutes uh, uh, for doing this procedure and there is no pain and there is no cut and no hospitalization required after this surgery okay so this is the very good advantage of laser because the the uh, the blood is, uh, the blood loss is very low uh, in this type of surgery okay